this way. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What up, what up, what up, what up? How are y'all doing, what up, what up, what up, what up? back with another episode of the ITC Podcast. 101. 101, not oh. Dalmatians. I was thinking that when you said <laughs> like, You feel me? Podcast 101. 101. 101. ITC 101. We here. Exactly. Yeah. But we back in this thing, man. So uh, mm-hmm. how's everybody doing? You know, we got the homie, of course, mm-hmm. uh, none other than the man, man. himself. Uh, of course, we're going to get into a lot of topics of discussion of things. I feel that myself. I'm like, bro, I'm not dreaming. Am I here? No, nah, you I'm here. Am I, am I, reality. In this it's reality. It's reality. Like, bro, is it like. <laughs> Real my, boy, my boy is actually here, man. We got Trill Billy in the. Uh, what do you want to go by as now? Because I remember last time you was trying to drop the Trill Billy. Man, I, at a point, I mean, I'm just like, you know, I might as well just take the Trill Billy. Like, I'm just Hold so. The fans, you know, oh, Trill Billy. You know, it's so your I'm brand. Like, yeah, that, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it might as well. So we backwards. So you got to change your Instagram too, then, right? Because you Yeah, no, it was the same. Yeah, Trill Billy brand. Okay, I might as well. I invested so much time. You know, shenanigans in that name, so I might as well just get Hey, man. Like, <laughs> Look, I'm going to give it up for you. Glad Yo, for man. having you. Um, so, um, the, the happy homie, and blessed to be here, man. The yeah. homie is in the building. We're going to get into yeah. some, some uh, deep topics and mm-hmm. stuff like that in conversations. <laughs> but I uh, want to start off on a lighter note, just trying to see how you guys been doing. How's everybody been feeling? And, of course, you know we're going to get into you. Oh, yeah. Uh, but just yeah. just in general, how we how we feeling, man? How we living in this heat? I'm good, man. I said, I'm just, good? I'm just getting happy to be here, man. You know, breathing and stuff. You good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he didn't even ask I'm sorry. Why. See, sorry to hear that. Well, we're gonna get Steve. I, I want to unpack it, <laughs> but I, I didn't want to neglect Steve. Nah. I want to. I wanted to give you time <laughs> just, to unpack. I'm good. Give him his time. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's I knew we was gonna get back bro. to you, bro. Let's go, man. USA, man. <laughs> no, I'm actually good. I just wanted to see what you was gonna do. I'm still kind of mad though. You ain't trying to, you know. Bro, you don't know. want these. Do you really want these? I put it on in the clutch. I will buy them right now. You don't have to buy them. I oh, could have bought gonna, them, I'm but I was just trying to get. Do you, you know, really want these? Trying to get the situation. Don't want them. I mean, I, you, know, Big you want these? <laughs> you want a pair? I want them for sure. I'll take a pair too. I'm all over Like, you the switch is handed out. Subscribers, if you're following us and you've been following. Now, you really want a pair? I mean, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I, I want a pair. No, you can't neglect real. that I've been saying I want like, a pair. Hey, man, you can't just, just go. I ain't about to go to Brandon. I ain't turned down for lunch. I'll have you just take a pair. Because it took me a while to realize how much I actually wanted them. I got a nice USA shirt to go with it, too. Yeah, and I got a I got a cool Texan fit. I ain't come. All right, Mr. Nike, you come on. You don't want to start asking everybody. I think it would be better if we hook up Brandon with a pair. You know, That's he cool. got to get a new That's wardrobe. Cool no, don't, 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 <laughs> do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That sound nice. That's cool and all. That's straight. What size we you wear, We can do that, but you know. I'm like living half. Nah, no, for like, sure. I, I, I no, I'm being serious right now. I'm not playing. You want them or not, for real? Yeah, like I that. Mean, I didn't. No, I wouldn't mind having them. Like I said, oh, I had them. No, 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 no. I don't like that. I wouldn't mind. Answer that question. Or you don't. Despite of what I've been through, there's certain things that, you know, I still, you know, do you want them? Yes, I, yes, I you want saying them. You're saying I want them. Yes, I want them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get like, yeah, yeah, like this. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, I want them. Sneak of love Since still there. the homie man. been out here losing weight, you know what I'm saying? It's man, looking year. good, man. And looking thank, good, thank, man. Yes, sir. So yes, we got to make yep. sure, you know, get your new clothes in order. We got to make sure you get the, the drip right, too. So yeah. what size you wear? That's what I'm talking about. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Oh, 11 and a half. Yeah. Um, Maybe we could do a shopping uh, video, too. You want yeah, to man. Oh, you're throwing me up, man. Definitely Just throwing out content, man. We're doing this live, too, on the podcast. Yes. Yes. Um, so I guess I'll keep talking while he's shopping. Make sure you got a thirteen in there too. Um, <laughs> you can go ahead and throw I accidentally put in there it too. in the cart twice. I'm like, hold on, wait nah, a minute. No, you didn't accidentally. <laughs> that was you know, <laughs> things happen for a reason. You said eleven and a half. I think I could fit. Those oh, he. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What size you wear actually? I don't even got a ten, ten and a half. Oh, damn, <laughs> big tub of bus outlet. Y'all ever used to do that? I used to do that what? in high school. Like What's I used that? to try to squeeze it to my sister's shoes because she used to always have like some fly shoes. Mm-hmm. Or, or whatnot. No, I, I was always, I, didn't have I was a always the old, older sibling, so I couldn't really. Oh, okay. like that. I didn't have a sister until <laughs> later on in life. So. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, yeah, she was my older sister, but then my foot grew. And yeah. I remember sometimes being in Sterling, my feet were dying. <laughs> but those fly shoes some, though she had some cool shoes that I needed to mm-hmm. wear and mine just wasn't it I needed to wear I, I needed, needed to wear it bro I'm gonna struggle to today like, man. and I would I would try to process mm-hmm. when I was gonna need to start taking the back of my heel out mm-hmm. to relax during class periods 
But by the end of the day, when I was getting on the bus, I'm talking about my dogs were like, in there throbbing like, like doof, doof, The doof. things you do to not get roasted, though. Bro, hey, hey. the struggle, man. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Exactly. Squeezing them and tight shoes, man. 11 and a half. Yes, sir. Squeezing them tight shoes, Appreciate it, man. Oh, no, man. Nah, for real. Yeah, now nah, it's all love, bro. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, dog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but anywho, man, uh, Brandon. Um, yes, sir. It's, it's been a lot that's yeah. been going on. Um, we can we can get into some of the stuff that you've experienced, mm-hmm. some of the changes and stuff like that as well. Because oh, yeah. okay. um, I know people want to also hear about where our falling out was. Oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah, I wouldn't sure. necessarily personally say it was a falling out. Yeah. Um, it was just more on the lines of differences of opinions and, and mm-hmm. drive. Yeah. You feel me? But I'm going to let you yeah. take it and uh, Before let me know. Before we get into the serious stuff, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's wait a found minute, something. By minute. golly, he's got it. You got a 13 on there? Is it loaded? Confirmation of uh, He put the 11 on there. the order was placed, man. Hey, Say less. So should be here. Uh, Three pair bet. On Friday. New. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch him, bro. So, yeah, nah. Everything uh, went through, so. Let me double check and make make sure I get that email. But yeah, nah, order was placed. So. Yeah, I actually I do have to place an order. Yeah, no, that's but, a, <laughs> but that's yeah, for me my too. boy. I was hoping he did it, man. So nah, hey, we we in that thing now. But yeah, stick it to the coat. We we see you out here. You <laughs> What's know, he did? Losing weight and stuff. <laughs> so it, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like outside. you know you want to be able to help the homie out. Get some extra stuff for himself, you know. And uh yeah, yep, man. got the email. Just received the order, so they yeah. will be here. I'll let you know when they get here. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he lives, so it's oh, just, right. <laughs> not, I know where he lives. Know. But yeah, no, yeah, I think this is about just it. one of those things where you know we we know you love the kicks, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, just right. to, the original sneakerhead, actually. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, sir. OG, definitely, man. Always, so. always have a passion, love for shoes, man. So. Definitely, not, so, yeah. definitely not, not gonna change, you know. They a lot smaller way, now because I know how nowadays, like Nike Jordan brand, like, the prices just keep going up. I'm like, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> sticking at that 200, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, even more than that. But you know, I see like the people that catch on. I'm like, hey, look, I can't be buying shoes like that every week. I'm like, all right, like, so it, it's value in a lot of other things. It's, it's nothing True. wrong with you. We know doing what you want to do. Your name is Mr. Nike. <laughs> we don't. All I say <laughs> is, in life, face. it's about what you know and who you know. That's really, yeah. that's really what True. it comes down to. So yeah. I'm, I'm very thankful. Quotas. It is. <laughs> Pulled out a said. quote. All yeah, I'm it, saying. It, yes. All I'm saying is about who you know and what you know. What does so that mean, though? What that mean? means, while everyone else has to do certain things, sometimes you're fortunate enough and blessed enough to be in a fortunate situation where you don't have to. To <laughs> so. plug. Oh. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> I you know what I'm saying? So woo! Uh, shout out to the homie that hooked me up with it this years okay. ago. So woo! you know we're gonna keep his name anonymous though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I, absolutely. absolutely. Sure. Never give the plug. Yeah, 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 yeah. So nah, and you know I, I like to be able to share the wealth because I don't want to be the only one benefiting from this. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yep. So for sure, because some people are like that. You know, some people they'll get some type of knowledge or information, and keep instead of even themselves. helping the close friends, yeah. Like the homies or whatever, even if it's just something that's saving somebody some money on some stuff that they really like to get, mm-hmm. they're like, nah, I don't, nah, don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah, want to. I can't share you. this. And it's like, why? It's, it's a secret formula. It's like, right. can't take this with us. So if you're able to help somebody, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's dope. And just like I said, it's just exactly. cool. Exactly. Why you ordered three him, pairs. You know, stupid. Like man. when we went to go see I appreciate Deadpool, that, bro. He just He's took us. <laughs> we went to go see Deadpool, took us on the ride. and I pulled up. And I was like, "Is that Brandon?" Because I I couldn't believe. So I was now, like, <clears throat> so now you're going into when yeah we, we first went yeah, first so after yeah. we saw him at you the hospital. Set it up, man. You just <laughs> <laughs> anywho, you uh I think you reached out to us mm-hmm. after the hospital situation. Mm-hmm. You were yeah. saying that hey, if we're going to go see Deadpool, mm-hmm. is it okay if you tag along? I at the time was going to call a station for nationals for the kiddos. Right. So I was like, damn, that would sound dope, yeah. but I'm not going to be here when it come out. So um, from there, you know, of course, I think y'all went to go see it. You, Yeah, I, I went sure. to go see it before by myself. And stuff. So like, then I, I, want to miss up. And I <laughs> hit them up when I got back and I was like, hey, I, don't, I know y'all probably saw it already, but if y'all want to, you know, go together as a collective again mm-hmm. still, um, I'm going to go check it for the first time Monday. And then everybody was lit. You was lit. You was lit. And so... 
from there, you pulled up, saw Brandon outside of the movie theater, and mm-hmm. and I was like, bro, it was only like how long had we had seen him at the hospital? Like maybe if maybe like a, over a month, yeah, over like a, a month. month. It wasn't yeah. even really <clears throat> that long, mm-hmm. but you know, seeing him, I was like, bro, I've never seen him this small. Yeah. You know, just seeing him <laughs> walking around, mm-hmm. and you know. Out and about, considering what we just saw a month prior, no, it was sure. it's dope to see. It's a blessing to see. So mm-hmm. I'm seeing that he's like Amen. clothes Amen. big on him. You know what I'm saying? And it was just it's like falling off. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this is one of those things. Where it's like it's 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 a blessing. Yeah, just to to see somebody went through something so serious, yeah. and a lot of people haven't survived. Yeah, you know for sure. Yeah. And to be out and about, looking better, looking healthier, feeling better. You know. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So that's why it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, if anything, being you being a part of the live stream last week, that was dope. That was it tough. Was, it was I great had, to have you, know, you back. It was totally amazing, man. Walking you know, into the Friday night and uh, seeing uh, Trio, I was like, oh, was it Friday night? Or was mm-hmm. it? Yeah, it was I think it was Friday, Friday night Friday. the first night yeah. I came. And I was like, Trio? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a dope dope vibe. Dope yeah. energy that day. Real, yeah. Man. Yeah. That whole weekend was crazy. Mm-hmm. So in your yeah. situation, um, and things that occurred, um, walk us into, you know, how things happen, oh, yeah. occurred yeah. and you know, your journey through it. Right. Well, June fifth, um, I woke up, you know, before that it was, you know, a regular night and stuff. You know, I woke up, you know, let me say it was on June fifth. You know, I couldn't really breathe that much. You know, I was kind of gasping for air. I felt super weak, but, you know, I just, I still, you know, just kept it going. Like, right, maybe there's something, maybe I slept wrong. You know, there was there was so much stuff going through my head. Yeah. You know, I, I remember still going to work that day, still feeling like that. I'm like, nah, let me push through it. And uh, I remember, you know, even before I went to work, you know, taking a shower and stuff, you know, I couldn't lift my left leg fully. I'm like, man, what is going on? Once again, I was thinking, like, maybe I slept wrong. Then, you know, I, you know, Caught a ride to Uber. I couldn't even get out fully. I'm like, bro, why is my leg dragging like this? And once again, I'm thinking like, maybe I just once you know ate bad or you know something. Like I'm just feeling weak. You know, and I slept wrong. Still going to work. Yeah, I still went to work. Damn, exactly. Sheesh. You know, I'm like, you know, man, you know, I still feel sluggish. You know, I was you know falling asleep <clears throat> at the computer and stuff. And I'm like, I woke myself up. And then that's when uh, one of my other guys, you know, he came in. He's like, bro, if you want to leave? You can. You know, it's no big deal. Still being the person I am, I'm like, you know, let me just get a little bit more done and then I can finally leave. I did that. I went home, took a, maybe took like a two-hour nap. I felt good. 30 minutes later, I felt bad again. Damn. And so my mom said, like, you need to go to the hospital. Something's wrong and stuff. You know, I was like, all right. I kind of, you know, forced myself going to the hospital. You know, I told him, I went into the emergency room, tell him what was going on, this and that. And the first thing that really kind of hit me was, you know, usually you know, when you're in the emergency room, you got to like wait and stuff. Yeah. As soon as I told him what happened, I'm like, all right, just, uh, you know, try to make your way, you know, through, like, the, the doors right there, pretty much, you know, where people, you know, getting, you know, tested and everything. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Every, all these people are waiting. Probably been waiting here for hours. You know, they just telling me to walk straight in. Mm-hmm. Walk straight in. I sit down. Of course, they check my blood pressure. And I immediately assume maybe this has something to do with my blood pressure. Yeah. You know, this wasn't my first rodeo of that. You know, blood <clears throat> pressure, of course, was super high. Doctors coming in telling, you know, you know, why is it so high? Do you on your own medication? Unfortunately not, you know, this and that. Yeah. And then maybe a few hours later I felt worse. And then that's when one of the doctors came in and told me, like, you know, I'm currently I'm suffering like a minor stroke. Wow. You know, it just Damn. it didn't it didn't fully hit me. It's like, all right, I'm there, I'm in this situation, but I'm like, like, wow, you know, are you serious? Like a stroke? He's like, Yeah, my blood pressure was like two twenty last time I remember, yeah, which was man. beyond high. And I'm like, Okay, I text my mom, like, all right, I'm in, you know, uh, I mean, uh, pretty much, they're telling me that I could be suffering like a minor stroke. You know, she got up. Well, she didn't even go to sleep that night and stuff. She waited until the morning. <clears throat> I bet. They, like, certain hours you can come in, you know, uh, people that's, you know, uh, waiting you and stuff. That's, that's you know, that's vis- visiting you. So, during the whole time, you know, I'm laying down trying to go to sleep. And I'm, like, so I'm thinking, like, maybe, maybe, maybe if I can go to sleep, you know, we can, you know, I can, I can be, you know, better. Uh-huh. And, you know, it just got worse throughout the time. Uh me, I sleep on my stomach, you know, but I yeah. had to sit, you know, they, of course, they drew blood, they had all these things attached yeah, to me and right. stuff, and I couldn't really move. You know, me, I just felt super uncomfortable, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, damn, once again, you know, Lord, you know, I'm I'm dealing with something like this, you know, I never dealt with nothing like this before, but I immediately knew what it was, you know, just yeah. stress, you know, overeating, you know, just a terrible lifestyle, everything, yeah. especially what, what went on, you know, the past, like, two years, you know, prior to that. You know, I think all that just caught up to me. And so I'm just, you know, in the waiting room or in the, 
the uh they're waiting for like beds to like transfer me to like the ICU unit. Gotcha. And uh by that time, you know, they were strolling me out and there was like, you know, one guy and there was a couple other people, you know, they were like following me and I'm just, you know, the medication, everything's kicking in along with the stroke because there's really no like medic medicine for like a stroke, nothing like that. You have to let it take its toll, unfortunately. So mm. uh, the hours when you know passed by I started feeling worse, you know, more sluggish. And so I'm I'm yeah. looking up in the days and I just, you know, just seeing the lights, you know, the elevator, you know, me just passing, you know, by like a whole bunch of people, you know, you know, these people, you know, they're just, you know, pushing it's a me. Blessing you know, like, that you bed. caught it when you caught yeah, it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I look back, I'm like, man, I actually went to work and I told the doctors, the doctor kind of got he didn't get mad, but he was like, you know, as soon as you felt like this, you know, you should have went. As soon as you woke up, yeah. you, know, you should have went. I'm like, which is true. And then by the time it was like seven o'clock in the morning, you know, my mom came, you know, she went to the ICU, you know, I was in like ICU. And I'm just completely gone out of it, you know. I remember, you know, like, you know, despite, you know, what I've you know, been through, thinking like, oh, man, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. You know, I was, you know, you, sometimes, you know, you'd be stubborn, like, yeah. and that's whatever. Despite everything you were going through, you know, honestly, in that hospital, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I was just beyond scared. I'm like, you know, Lord, what if I don't make it? You know, if I do or if I don't, you know, you know, would he, would he accept me, you know, in, in, you know, in his kingdom? You know, I was, all that was running through my head. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know. And then, you know, being mad at myself, you know, just, make, you know, allowing myself to get in that situation. Because, you know, of course, you know, having a stroke, you know, leads, you know, called being overweight, high blood pressure, something I could have prevented, you know, prior to that. But yet yeah. I didn't. I always, you know, neglected, you know, my health and stuff. You know, I always maybe talk a good game, maybe for like, you know, try to be on that wagon for maybe like a couple months and then you know, fall off, you know, right, bam. Right. You, know, you know, that's always been my battle, you know, ever since, you know, I decided to, you know, try to get in shape, you know, even as a, as a team. And so... All that, man, I thought about, you know, that, you know, in the ICU, I'm like, you know, wow. Um, it was around maybe, I think, 6, six o'clock in the morning. I'm still completely just out of it. The medication, it just, it just, like, kicked in along with, you know, me having that stroke. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I remember, you know, like, two women, you know, they coming in there pretty much, you know, they're like, you know, sponge bathing me and stuff. And I'm like, I really didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And then, not then I remember it was a doctor with a whole bunch of other, like, nurses and stuff. Maybe, like, I want to say maybe, like, 10, 15 people. They were just, like, crowding me and stuff. And then there was one guy, you know, he wasn't, you know, dressing like a hospital suit. He looked like a dude from, like, house. You know, like the wow. main guy. And yeah. I think that's what it was. You know, he was telling my mom and stuff, you know, pretty much, and I'm dealing with, you know, hypertension, you know, uh, and that's, like, a minor stroke. And, you know, and the only thing they can constantly, you know, were telling me, like, you know, you're young, you're young. But in my head, I was just like, you know, I know I'm young, but I'm like, like, wow, like, yeah, I'm really dealing with this, you That's know, crazy. situation. Yeah, <laughs> so you know, it, it was you know just a scary situation. You know, it's you know getting you know blood drawn. You know, pretty much you know every day. You know, like I said, it's something you know you know you really you know get it's you know it scares you, but then at the same time it's like okay, Lord, if I make it out of here, yeah, you know, it's time check. for it. Yeah, it's definitely a reality check. Like, is this time for a change? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was in the hospital for about uh, three weeks. Mm. So which is the longest I've ever been. You know, it's had its ups and downs, you know. I was just completely weak. I think during that day, my, you know, my words was super slurred. You know, my mom was telling me, you know, I was basically not sounding like this mm -hmm. and everything, you know, which I couldn't tell until, you know, like I said, you just got to let it take its toll. Yeah. I think the following day, you know, I felt a little bit better, but, you know, not, you know, physically I felt good, but, you know, mentally I was still like, you know, wow, okay, I'm in here. And that's when everything really started locking up, you know, like my left leg, my left hand, you know, I couldn't move it completely you know which yeah. i can feel it but i couldn't there was like no motion you maybe like to, a couple of days yeah i was trying, trying to I, I, the only thing i can do is like maybe like move my shoulder mm -hmm. but even too it was it, like it was just a struggle to do this and stuff right you right. Know, now you know thank god i'm able to you know do that move my fingers a little bit more but you know it was just you know half of my whole body was just shutting down and this is weird how the brain works like you yeah. know it can either be the right side or your left side and just you know in my case it was the left side it just completely shut down like i could not walk or That's anything crazy. And it was just, you know, it was just frightening. And, so. and you know what's crazy about that? But God. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, sure that's all I, can, all I can think about with your situation. It was just like, yeah. you know, we go through certain things. And True. just like how me and you was talking and how you yeah. were saying that, all the stuff you were stressing about and, you know, you know, just whether it was finances, family, yeah. and all other things of, you know, um, mm -hmm. mistakes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. All that was you right realize in my head. how yeah. not important that is. Exactly. When you was in the stretcher or when you was in the bed. Yeah. Because it was like, dang, you know, imagine being like this for the rest of your life. Yeah. Not living versus, True. you know, going through a little bit of a struggle or having some setbacks in the past. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I said, I was, while I was in there, you know, I was like, you know, the 
I look back, I'm like, you know what, you know what the hell did I complain about? I understand yeah. everybody goes through something, you know, <laughs> yeah. and basically, you know, what I was dealing with, I'm like, anything I was dealing with, you know, I could have prevented, like, mm-hmm. you know, I still have, you know, my limbs and everything, you know, mm-hmm. anything I said I wanted to do, I could have done. But I was just still, you know, like I said, just terrible eating habits, you know, yeah. being stressed <clears> out, <throat> basically, man, just being mad at the world, you know. And I look back, I'm like, you know, like life is fragile, you know. It is, man. I feel like, you no, know, the Lord, as humble as he is, I feel like, you know, I, let me tell you, like, okay, you think you're really going through something? Like, you know, I'm putting you in this position to where you can mm-hmm. make some out of yourself. You somewhat neglected it, you know, okay. Now let's, you know, here's going to be the next step. This is a good chance you may not ever walk again, you know, may not ever move again. You know, you can, you know, j- j- just be, you know, like a vegetable, basically. Yeah. And then we'll see, you know, basically, you know, how, how good you like, how good you had it. Yeah. You know, I thought yeah. about that too while I was in there. I'm true. like, you know, I couldn't be, you know, selfish or anything. So. It's like a shock. Like sometimes with certain people's oh, yeah. magnitude of stubbornness, mm-hmm. something dramatic has to happen in order right. for, to shake them out of yeah. their mm-hmm. natural personality and their their, exactly. their traits. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember just, you know, looking out the window sometimes, seeing like nurses, you know, coming in from the shifts and I'm like, I'll do anything just to be in their position. You know, they can walk, <clears> to go they outside, can move their mm-hmm. arms and legs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we take it for granted, man. I definitely take it for granted. Yeah. But all in all, like I was saying, I just thank God that you still here. Mm-hmm. You know, because around the yeah. time when we did hear about what was going on, we weren't mm-hmm. speaking. No, we um, wasn't. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, I don't know, it was weird what yeah. we had going on because it wasn't like we were beefing. It just was yeah. like a, you over there just you handling your business, you good, and yeah. the same for me. I mean, pretty much, man, the, the feeling was mutual, man. Like I said, I know that we know we had situations. Mm-hmm. For the record, I was one, I was never, you know, mad or upset about, you know, y'all or anything. If anything, I was just mad about, once again, I kind of fumbled my blessings, you know. Like I said, y'all brought me back two years ago. Well, they like three years ago now. And, you know, that whole year, you know, was a little bit rocky. And then, bam, you know, you know I parted ways again, you know. Which is crazy. We're in the same room where, like, you know, we pretty much, you know, you had to, you know, we parted ways. And yeah. I remember walking out of the studio just feeling like complete, you know, I don't want to curse, but, <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I felt just horrible, you know. Let it out. <laughs> so my thing was this whole, you know, time was like, all right, you know, they're doing their thing. Let me try, you know, rebuild myself, you know, do my thing and stuff, you know, not much communication with them. Like I said, never no beef. But at the same time, I know, like, okay, I know Dove is the type of person, like, I know, you know, you're a family man, you know, businessman, of course, you know, in the clutch and everything. I can't have no distractions, you know, no stragglers or anything like that. And I feel like I somewhat was like that to an extent. I'm like, all right, man, whatever I'm going through, man, Dove don't want to hear it, man. So let me just, you know, do my thing and stuff, you know, along with Ross and so on. So then in the near future, you know, if we run into each other, I mean, bam, no, no love lost, no, no beef or anything like that. That was my mentality, pretty much. But you know, that's not my. Ah, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. that's you mm-hmm. know, that's that's one of them things that's not even me. Yeah. You know, and that what that's what angers me because, you know, my personality. Everybody that knows us, yeah. that know me, know me, know my trait yeah. and my personality. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. feel like you gave me, you know, multiple challenges. I'm like, all right, we adults now. Like, this ain't nothing personal, just business. You know. Yeah. Uh, but nah. But at the end of the day, if you learn how to communicate. Yeah. Right. Uh, effectively. To True. where, yeah, we all going through stuff, mm-hmm. but I don't think nobody here. I mean, everybody is going through something. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. when you think about it. That's oh, like, yeah. very true. So I can't. Yeah. I can't yeah. say my situation is worse than yours, or you can't mm-hmm. say it's worse than mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We all have our own height of a battle True. that each one of us physically or mentally have to go through. So yeah. mm-hmm. it was really just communicating, and I'm gonna be the type of person. I even I hate saying no. Yeah, you can ask my own family this. Like, <laughs> even if I yeah. can't do something, <laughs> right. I'm gonna be like, "Well, let me hold on, let me see." That yeah, that's, that's what me. I always say. Yeah, like, it I'm irritates always, uh, me. <laughs> I'm gonna let me see because I'm always like, "Yeah, I gotta go here at eight, but maybe by seven thirty, I can try to like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to figure something out." Literally today, when you were saying about the pod, you were like, "Yeah, we could do it at, uh, in the afternoon." I said, "What time?" Because <laughs> my dad asked me to do some random. Thing. It's their anniversary today, so oh, I was so like, oh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Let me Happy see if I could uh, slide some time in and help them do this before the yeah. dinner and then yeah, this. Yeah. And I was just trying to fit stuff into the schedule, yeah. <laughs> knowing I could have just said, no, nah, I can't do it. It was just, it, it, that's I think about that all the time, um, mm-hmm. just not being able to say no to people. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it kind of feels like it come off like, I mean, even though it doesn't, because there's nothing wrong with the word no, but... In a friendship or in mm-hmm. a you know brotherhood, yeah. I you feel always like try to go above. I'm obligated sometimes. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, 
because it's just actually yeah that's me so mm-hmm. it's yeah. like they're used to me helping when i say no it almost feels throws foreign. off yeah it's foreign to me <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's me so like whatever you was going i mean bro we've been on this like you know oh, yeah. several times even when we yeah. did the uh the infamous table talk mm-hmm. you know when you first came back we were saying the same thing like yeah. you know yeah you can quote all my you know battles in my personal life with mm-hmm. being a dad and a husband but right. at the same time i'm also the person that's gonna be the first one to try to come get yeah. you the first one to answer the phone if i don't i'm texting or calling you back right you know what i'm saying so those were the things that I've always felt like, damn, Brandon, just, you just got to learn how to communicate with me. Cause yeah. I can't, you know, it's, it's tough for me to try to read your mind. Mm-hmm. True. Basically. For sure. Um, yeah, it was about basically, uh, it was also just a form of like, man, I don't want to burden, burden people, yeah. which mm-hmm. I have a huge you. habit of, man. Anybody I'm like, That's you know, people say like, Oh, I don't know how you feel. Let you tell me this and that. I'm like, I get it. But it's just like, the, your pride, you know, of course, you're stubborn too. I'm like, you know, like I dubbing you. them, they doing their thing, man. They want no parts of me. What I'm <clears> dealing <throat> with, man, let me just, you know, like I said, try to find my way and then, you know, <clears throat> like I said, meet them at the top. <laughs> of course, like I said, that definitely, well, definitely wasn't the case. That's the like, crash out mentality that we got to stop doing yeah, because yeah. We, we create enemies within our own circle, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel like a lot of our friends, I'm not going to say they do that, but we have a lot of talented people that are surrounded by us, probably even watching now because, uh, you know, but yeah. I will say people only move when they see motion. Yep. <clears throat> right. Yeah. So it's like when we learn how to actually come together and, hey, I know how to do this. I know how to build houses. Bet. Well, I know how to sell yeah. them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's that's how you form mm-hmm. a, a dynasty. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we, we always create this. Yeah, they doing their thing, so I need to go do mine. Right. And then I'm going to just see you when we all at the all-white tape. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily <clears throat> always have to be like that. Mm-hmm. Because with some people, they create, uh, you know, they create you, like I said, with the enemy thing. Yeah. But I'm not your enemy. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, we can actually be on the same team. Yeah. That If anything, it should motivate you. Yeah. But not everybody get motivated by that. You know how I always say it's a thin line between motivating and bragging? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? It just depends on who the who's the viewer. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you get on Instagram, right? Because that's the <laughs> Mecca. Yeah. You get on there and see somebody pulling off in your dream car. Mm-hmm. Right. You either going to A, man, I'm finna go to work because I got to yeah. get that. That's if he true. got it, I can get it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Especially if he look like you. Or B, yeah. mm-hmm. man, this nigga think he all that, bro. Mm-hmm. Them cars ain't even, <laughs> they ain't even that that mm-hmm. color trash. Mm-hmm. Yep, on uh, like that. It's 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 basically like what's the word? It's unnecessary competition. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's comparison yeah. is the is the enemy essentially. Yeah, it, it causes is. you to start creating narratives in your head that aren't necessarily true. Mm-hmm. They could be doing their own thing and just be like, "Yeah, man, y'all could do this too." But in your head, you like, "No, nah, that I'm I'm gonna be able to do that too, and yeah. I'm gonna do it better than you." Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> you just start creating this whole competition yeah, yeah. in your head, and it's 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 it. I I found myself being guilty of that years ago, um, mm-hmm. back in like college days. I was like trying to compete, and mm-hmm. I, I real once I started realizing that vibe that energy that negative energy was not good for me as far as like growing and what it was that i was trying to do at the time it was dance and so trying to compete and do this it was like messing up my mental messing up my thought process and understanding that i'm really just competing against myself yeah yeah. i didn't understand that at first it was like the struggle for me (laughs) but it was like you know everybody has to grow and learn Mm -hmm. that overall no for sure and then it's like one of those things where um <clears throat> we we see things like me growing up i always realized how unimportant things are yes yeah. right so for me things are useless like you know not useless in the sense of like value but i'm saying like useless as in the grand scheme of life mm-hmm. like so and i always go back to what you were telling me when you were in the hospital bed like you start realizing, like, damn, what was I tripping for? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather be broke than broken, paralyzed, yeah. or broken. Like you you said, know, I just, I just had like a new perspective on life. Yeah, you know, just you mm-hmm. know, I that was, was your upset shocker. about you know anything. I'm like, I, I was thinking about everything. You know, when I was going through, I'm like, 
bro, I still had the power to change stuff. Like I said, bro, I just kept, you know, either I was pissed off at the world, you know, just dealing with stress at work, you know, just coming from, you know, being, you know, a part of, you know, in the clutch, you know, having to happen to go back to 9 to 5, which, of course, there's nothing wrong with 9 to 5, but just, you know, shifting back into that gear, you know, I'm like, I feel like I just took, you know, two steps back, you know, had to, you know, adjust myself, you know, I was just, you know, so mad and frustrated, if anything, at myself, but like I said, in a hospital bed, you know, just like, you know, I'm, I was alive, I was active, you know, you know, eating terrible, yeah, but, you know, just... I could have prevented all that, yeah, you mm -hmm. know. And like I said, I just, you know, the, during the whole time in the hospital, I'm like, man, if I can turn back time, if I turn back time, but then, you know, I feel, you know, I felt like the Lord was telling me, you know, of course, you know, we can't go back in time. We can just learn from the mistakes. And, Facts. you know, God willing, if I make it out the hospital, you know, like I said, you know, I'm definitely going to hit the ground running, you know, having a more positive, you know, perspective I look on life. I, I feel like yeah. the key that I've learned in life in general is perspective. True. Mm -hmm. Perspective yeah. has been my biggest motivator if anything i guess you could say yeah in a, in a sense it's it's truly changed how i move in general because mm -hmm. at one point my perspective is oh well i can't oh i can't oh i can't yeah. and then my perspective was well i i will and i will and i will right, right, <laughs> like right, right. and then when it started getting like that i started noticing things change and stuff shifting right. because i'm not looking at the other side of it i'm looking at only oh i can do that Mm -hmm. Oh, I can make that happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can, like, that's all I'm seeing. And that was all perspective. And True. it all balled down to just that thing, that one perspective shift that changed the way I moved, changed, like, my trajectory, if anything. Yeah, At one point, it felt like I was yeah. just plateauing or going <laughs> like this. Changing that perspective made me feel like this. And I'm like, that's, that's how I feel now. Like, I, I always feel yeah. like that, even when I'm, like, possibly struggling well i wouldn't even say struggling I, like I, I a lot of times i don't even consider my struggle struggles because I, I look at like it could i always be like it could be worse you know that's true yeah in my head i'm always like it could be worse like i said in the hospital i'm like you know bro, it can be worse you know i couldn't have made it and stuff mm -hmm. even though they're telling me you know i can you know i'm i'm young you know i'll, I'll make i'll pull through and stuff you know there's still that that chance you know mm -hmm. what if i got worse and the fact that now that I had a stroke, you know, I'm like 32 or 20 some percent more likely to have another one. But what if but you I don't got care myself? Exactly, yeah. Like I said, so <laughs> yeah, facts. This pretty mentality. much, yeah. Your thoughts, man, it, it can just, you know, it can. Your mind can be, you know, with you or against you, man. You make just really have to you. play it out. Yeah, definitely make make and break you. And that's that. What we talk about your subconscious mm -hmm. mind. True. Your your consciously, you know, at it with a better perspective, and that's yeah. what your conscious start to believe in. It's you true. know, let the universe use you. you yeah. know, that book like that. That's one of those things where, you know, what you speak out of your mother's life and death and the power of the tongue. So what you mm, speak yeah. into existence will be. So mm, if you true. keep speaking negativity, you know those people that's always got negative energy around them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They wonder why negative things keep happening to them and or they keep stay around complaining. them. Yeah. And they keep complaining, they stay there. It's mm -hmm. because of the mentality, the consciousness that's and true. the reality yeah. of they their their tongue. Yeah. So but people that's always positive or in a good mood even when bad things happen uh, happen to them, they see it as a lesson. They don't even take it as a bad thing happened mm -hmm. to me. This is happening for me, yeah. and I'm gonna That's flip it. this. I definitely see it as when like a it's a lesson. Definitely. Oh yeah, because it took you out that mentality. Like That's true. you know, from before when we talked on the phone, what was that a year and a half ago? Yeah. Um, one of the last few times we talked on the phone. Yeah. Well, a couple times, it just felt like trying to pull you out of something that you didn't want to get out of. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what it felt like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's where the burden came from because it's like, mm -hmm. bro, the homie trying to help him out because, you know, people didn't know even when you weren't on the, the visual side of yeah. Clutch, we still hired you on to help us out it's true. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was me just, just you know, yeah. I was chucking. You know, I kept like, reaching on. my hand down <clears throat> trying to get you it's up true. on the, the mountain. But it's like I kept feeling like you just kept turning towards uh, an excuse of not see yeah. saying you don't want to be a burden can also be an excuse for not moving mm -hmm. yeah. right That's so true. you always yeah. you you also was using that to kind of not change mm -hmm. yeah it was the crutch so yeah the more i helped the more you was like but i don't want a burden and i was just like well you know in my mind i'm like how it's i'm not a burden. Yeah. you're <laughs> burdening me more by not <laughs> right <laughs> letting me help you let me help you <laughs> yeah yeah in a way <laughs> I said, no, we someone had that situation last weekend. Let's say, like, bro, like, I'll pick you up. So I'm like, 
<laughs> Once again, I'm like, are you sure? And I remember saying, like, Brandon, like, I don't know, like, man. You, like, you good? Trust me. I'm like, all right. I knew, and I, I had to quickly, like, like Brandon, shut up. Had to get on your ass. Like, yeah, I'm like, all right. Get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> because I was like, bro, we got you. Like, I'm if, outside. If, get in the if car. I offer something, <laughs> yeah. that means it's within my means mm-hmm. to do it. Exactly. But I'm not going to bring it up or offer it if I know it's something that may not be able to happen, right? It's so true. I kept telling you, I'm like, bro, you good? <laughs> like, it just yeah. mind you, I know some people that offer some things that they don't have the means to be offered yeah mm-hmm. but i was like are you sure like before i get super hype i'm like man you sure now, though i can't stay across town like i would have came picked you up in an uber yeah <laughs> then i would be like bro why you then i would have understood exactly. you like <laughs> but i'm like bro i got a vehicle you know that's why yeah. i don't get people with cars that complain about driving yeah like yeah, exactly now if god take the ability away you're gonna be yeah. crying about oh i can't go nowhere i can't yep. see True. my family mm-hmm. yep. you know what i'm saying like it's it's people that come like live life complaining. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I don't like that's that that's my thing, bro. Yeah, like right. you keep that away from me. Keep that complaining energy away from me because that's a spirit that I don't like to latch on yeah. to Mm-mm. our circle. Yeah. And that was our thing too. Like, don't complain. Look at life in a positive way mm-hmm. and keep pushing forward. Like, bro, yeah. you're gonna be all right, you're gonna be straight. Keep working, right. putting putting the drop keep the drive alive. This no, combo no is crazy. Because yeah. I literally so my uncle's pretty close in age to he's about 10 years older at max oh, uh one of those, 10 huh? 11 maybe yeah. um and shout out to the people with uncles uh, younger than them but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right um he has this tendency to just kind of get on these complaining sprees and then mm-hmm. and then i a lot of times after a while i start hearing him like hey man like stop it Stop right, 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 right. And um, he'll be like, well, that's just how I talk. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah that's huh. a bad habit you have. It Definitely is. a bad habit. That we have yeah. to get rid of. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you're complaining. You haven't even learned it. Like, we'll be on the game. This prime example. We'll get on the game. Let's say we're playing. Co- he played with Cam before. Mm, yeah. He, Cam. Cam gets on these streaks. He's like, why, why, isn't he, why isn't he dying? Why isn't he da 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 Why isn't this happening? Like, just consistently yeah, yeah, yeah. complaining. And I'd be like, well, I mean. As I'm looking at your stream, I see your gun going like this. I'm this, done. This, right, right, right. <laughs> so, that's the I mean, answer right there. I mean, that's why it's not happening. Mm-hmm, right. Now, let's work on you going like this. And that way, if you're aiming at him, you know, <laughs> it will hit him. Yeah. Stop complaining about it. Learn the recall of the gun that you're using. Mm-hmm. And get better. <laughs> like yeah. essentially what what I Basically. what I tell them. But it's like it's not just for games, it's for anything. Life so in like a <laughs> it's kind of been the thing I've been getting on to him about the past like couple couple weeks because he was on Twitch pretty heavy. He was streaming regularly, growing a decent following, and he mm-hmm. kinda, you know good. not to, you know, call him out, but I'm calling him out. Um uh, <laughs> decent following. Um but he kinda, you know, fell off, you know, tried to take care of some priorities. Understandable. But it was, you know, one of those things he started just, you know, giving excuses to every little reason why he wasn't keep going or just, it was like, and then the excuses were like, you know, you just looking sense. at somebody yeah, like, really, yeah, yeah. this what we doing? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't walk because my hand, it was uh, itching and I'm like, mm-hmm. what? Yeah, that's just that's just thing. I, that's I just leave. <laughs> 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 I, just, I just leave people. Eat, like eat that. your hands, huh? Okay. Yeah. Then you the uncle too. I'll be like, man, come on, man. Who the who the uncle and the few? <laughs> That's what the youngins saying, Basically. right? Yep. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Um, you about this? Quiet. I feel like your thoughts. Are, are you good though? Because earlier I know. No, I actually am good. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm blessed to be alive. So that's that's hey, man, that's brother. one. So, For sure. Um, um, what about everything? You know. Oh yeah, nah. It, everything is 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 manageable. You know, we all go through stuff, but True. you know, I just yeah. take it one day at a time, and <clears> I'm here. Yeah. And that's that's the thing that's like I right, you know make it make it the best of whatever you can mm-hmm. and move forward you know so that's kind of where I'm at right now but just in general with this whole situation um, it was good to you know see you and 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 we had the conversation when we was at the hospital and yeah. mm-hmm. you know I was dealing with something prior to that and mm-hmm. I was telling you that. And yeah. when we found out, when Dub told me, hey, I, I dropped everything, we yeah. went to see you. Because it's one of those things, we never really had beef with you. Yeah. Yes, it would get annoying. And I'm keeping it a buck. It would get annoying oh, yeah. when some of the subscribers, what happened to Trill Billion? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, I told him that. Every time, yeah. We would get to the, like, yeah, would like, get man, to the like, point <laughs> where it was like, you ask him. Because it wasn't yeah. a situation of, 
oh, we just wanted to cut ties with you. To cut ties with you, Mm -hmm. it was a situation of we want you to be able to be on this journey with us because you was there from the beginning, Mm -hmm. but you got to also be able to put in the work for not just the group, but for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the end of the day, for yourself, you got to have that drive. And it was one of those things where it's like, like Dub was saying, and to your situation, it was like you would put yourself in a box of, I don't want to be a burden or I'm going to mess this up. And it's like, you don't have to put yourself there because we're not people that's just going to sit up there and try to tear you down for what? There are people like that, but Mm -hmm. what do we get out of tearing you down when we know you're an integral part of this whole situation? So seeing you, and I'm telling you what I have been going through, but wanting you to be like, all right, this is, this is your reset. And this is where you can go from. Mm -hmm. from here on out everything else you know what happened in the past you know how things went down this is your reset this is your chance to finally get things in track for yourself it's not gonna be easy but this is that opportunity and like i said seeing you at the movies you know and seeing your progress now is is beautiful i had a conversation with the uh, the other day i was like man i think he got it yeah. I think he got it this time. I yep. think this is yes. the actual change in Brandon that we've always wanted to see. Even some of the fans out there that know this this is what we always wanted for you. Mm-hmm. So when everything went down and, you know, we would try, even just outside of YouTube, mm-hmm. we would try to just invite you. Hey, what you doing? Hey, yeah, pull yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the only time. And, yeah. You know, I forgot what situation it was. Was it New Year's Eve or something like? That? I forgot what it was we had at your place. I know I went to like the New Year's Eve thing. Yeah, like, and I saw, like saw you, ago. Yeah. and you know you was having a good time, and it was mm-hmm. dope to see you again. And then mm-hmm. I didn't really see from you a much. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think I hit you up on Instagram Live. Was it for your birthday? Yeah, yeah I went live for my birthday. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, hey man, I see you doing your thing. Keep going. Yeah, but it was just one of those things where it's like, the more we would either reach out or say something. Yeah the less we would hear from you. And from yeah. hearing from your perspective, I get it. You're thinking in your mind, it's best that, you know, I just keep my distance. I don't hate yeah. them. I ain't got no issues, but it's best to keep our distance. But mm-hmm. it's different because, one, you've been friends with Dub before this YouTube stuff. Yeah, I ended yeah, up yeah. meeting you through him and, you know, getting cool with you as well. And I feel like, you know, if we're all friends, we all, you know, care for each other. Right. You feel me? Like, it should be a situation, even if it's not business, we should still somewhat be cool with each other. We yeah. should still have yeah. that communication. Like, hey, bro, I got some. I got some. You want to pull up? It'd be nice to see you again. Right. I bet. You know what I'm saying? And granted, it don't have to be all the time. You may be busy, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. just to have that. Ah, right, yeah, I'll pull up, or you know, you know, I, I, I'm gonna be busy this time. But and next time I'll link up with you. But we didn't get that, and it got yeah. to the point where it's like. All right, well, I mean, shit, I we, we wish nothing but the best for him, <laughs> but tried. we we got to keep moving on. So that whole situation, it was it kind of made us feel, you know, a kind of way. And then for the simple fact of the things that we were achieving and the things that we were, you know, doing on the channel, like the whole CM Punk stuff and the the rock stuff, and it's like it was one of those things where it's like. There's people that I hadn't talked to in fucking years mm-hmm. hit me up. Hey, bro, I, I saw that boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. And it, it was one of those things where it's like you would view our stories, but you wouldn't say nothing. And yeah. that, to me, it was like, come on, bro. Like, And not saying we need you to say mm-hmm. congratulations, but if it's somebody you know, like for yeah, example, no, I, need, I need you to say something. Like <laughs> for example, call <laughs> it. For, right. for example, you know, if the roles were reversed and you was doing it big, you know, things you start getting seen, you start getting good deals coming your way. Hey, bro, hey, I love to see that. Hey, hit you up. Hey, congrats, bro. What did I say to you on the live after your birthday? Hey, run it up. Yeah, I see you on your on your grind. Run it up. 
Because, but you know, I didn't, I, I didn't expect you know you to be on there and I was like, all right, don't. Ross is there, like I said, that's what's up. No, but I mean, <laughs> that was literally. I mean, yeah, I was like, all right, Ross cool, is there, bro. that's what's up, and I'm, I'm over here like, hey, bro, keep doing your thing, yeah. keep, keep grinding, bro. So you was beefing with us then? No, I was like, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't no hell no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't like hell nah, it, it was a mental beef. You ain't finna get off of that. <laughs> no, I was like, I just didn't expect to see because, like I said, uh, like Ross, you know, jump on, jump on a live. I'm like, all right, he's there. And like I said, the thing about me was is that's tough. You know, your mind, like I said, can really you know manipulate you know your thoughts yeah. and stuff. I don't want to say it wasn't no beef, it wasn't no anger to a job, but it was just anger, like mutual anger to it. Once again, damn, I should I should really be in you know your position. You know, From your what position. I'm saying, it's anger towards the situation. Basically, yeah. it was anger towards the situation. But you weren't I know, necessarily like, upset with them, but yes, you yeah. understood. But as like, soon as yo one of them hit me up, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, oh man, like, like we cool, we, we friends, just and that. And see, I don't like when people do that because yeah. and just just is my personal thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like when people get quiet when I accomplish stuff. Yeah, like yeah. especially the homies. And right. if the homies is watching this now, you are gonna hear this from me too. I don't like when people put flames on my accomplishments because, or or like it on social media mm -hmm. because me. If anybody do anything that I'm calling my homie or my brother, bro, I'm calling you. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. one. Yep. Or I'm texting you. That's two. You're saying that now. I'm realizing. I'm like, I do that unconsciously too. I like, bro, I'm, that. I'm not like. I be calling dub out of nowhere. Yeah, hey, like, I saw y'all got that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. But like, but for people that don't, because I'm, I'm I be unconsciously this, doing that. I'm doing this thing now where I'm not holding back yeah. things that I feel no more. I'm gonna start expressing more so that way people and and it's too many people to communicate with about certain True. things like that for me mm -hmm. to just tell you all my grievances mm -hmm. but when i when i when if any of my homies accomplish anything if i say we homies or brothers yeah bro i'm either on the phone or i'm texting you because of scheduling you really yeah. got me thinking now i'm like damn mm -hmm. no, i do sure. that and i didn't even realize <laughs> I, <laughs> I, True. I i become a victim of certain things that i be saying too this is why i'm trying to correct it yeah. bro i don't like just Harden or saying happy birthday online to the homie no more right mm -hmm. like if you my brother you know what i'm saying like yeah. i don't just text my mom happy birthday like or my dad, like, bro, I'm, hey, pops, you know, I'm going to try to see, I'm trying to work into that. And I, mm -hmm. I want the homies to do that. But right. just to kind of cut through it, but when we were having certain accomplishments mm -hmm. and you would see it and wouldn't say nothing, yeah. granted, I can't read your mind. So yeah. I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah, I, <clears> I don't know that you're having an anger yeah. towards the situation, yeah. but I'm seeing yeah. it as, well, damn, we've been homies before YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> that shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. The 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 thing that stopped you from saying, "Hey, bro, yeah. I seen what y'all doing. That's what's up." Mm -hmm. And I, the more that happened, the more I started to say, "Okay." My biggest thing was, I had a daughter, yeah. and I ain't getting no. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I watch, I pay attention to people that get quiet when I have certain accomplishments, and yeah. and of course, it's closer to my brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's a it's a very it's a magnifying glass on my brothers for sure because. I need my village too. Right. You feel me? True. Because yes. everybody assumes. That's another thing too I learned while I was in there. Like Everybody assume yeah. I'm just the strongest person. Oh. Yeah. But then when you're such a strong vessel, mm -hmm. people tend to not check on you because. For sure. Dub good. Yeah. Dub straight. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I need. You know, I need my folks. I need my validation. Like, I'm human. Yeah, like, you feel prior me? Prior to, and not to cut you off, man. Prior to, you know, the situation like we dealt with. The liveest nights was just uh, all the fellas linking up at your house or even in just here chilling. just chopping it up, chilling. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, once again, when I was in the hospital, bro, I dreamed for days like that again. I'm like, man, if I can probably go back. Because, you know, honestly, you know, when I was in the hospital, I didn't I, I didn't expect to see y'all, you know, there and stuff. I was like, all right, I know I... You out your last mind. No, hold, hold on. <laughs> let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> what? <laughs> not, not that I'm blaming y'all. I'm like, man, I've been in my so and so, you know, I, I, I failed, fumbled a bag, this, that, you know, I'm like... Bro. Last thing, you know, person I, I was I was talking to was Zay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, let me hit up Zay, man. I'm like, I like, I told Zay, I'm like, yo, Zay, man, I want to let you know I'm in the hospital. I suffered a minor stroke. You know, feel free to, you know, let you know, let the homies know. You know, I just said it like that. You know, I'm like, yeah, I know. I, <laughs> it was like, bro, it was like an invitation, but I like, I didn't want to message y'all because I was like, man, I don't know. If they even, you know, reply or anything and we stuff. And like I said, hold on, I know, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm getting get more into that too. Cook, you know, cook, sister cook. about your daughter and stuff. You know. Next thing you know, I think within 30 minutes, you know, I get a text from either you or Rod. I can't fully remember, like, bro, we pulling up, we on the way. Mm -hmm. and, you know, right there, I was like, you know, I had to hold my tears back. And I was like, damn, bro, they still. Man, I just, shit, bro, how you trying to. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm, gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to cry, man, but hey, don't, make, like, don't make me cry, bro. Nah, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm, 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 I'm a dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm way more sensitive now. Help me. <laughs> me too. I cry watching Coco, man. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's, this shit, damn. Nah, I <laughs> I'm trying to laugh, but I ain't trying to cry as nah, much. With hey, it's like I still have my, my my bros and stuff. I'm I'm like damn man. Like I told my mom, I'm like, hey mom, um, you know Ross, you know, uh, oh, man. Dub, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> damn, damn bro. <clears throat> Alright, <clears throat> get my deep voice back. <laughs> you got some, you got some tissue in there. I think I got some in my pocket and stuff. Oh, he, he <laughs> was ready. You knew you was ready. You knew you was ready for real. Yeah, like. I'm like, you know, hey, you know, uh, my, my 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 friends, you know, they're you know they're on the way and stuff, you know. Y'all came, and I was like, and like it's like nothing happened, you know, prior to that. And I'm like, yeah. I had to hold my tears, had to hold my tears back back then. I was like, man, bro, I was what, what was I tripping about, you know? I, you know, I said I was in my and stuff, you know. I didn't really communicate with people, and like it's like nothing happened, like. As soon as y'all found out I was dealing with that, you know, y'all, y'all pulled through. It helped so, you understand the relationship. Yeah. <clears throat> it, yeah. it helped you understand what level it was. True. Mm-hmm. So, mm. like, um, I, I think probably, yeah, <laughs> I remember probably, I think the first time I saw, uh, I think it was uh, your daughter being born. You know, I remember I had uh, a message or I sent, I remember I had a uh, reply to Nisha. I was like, oh my God, it was, it was a blessing. And like I said, you know, of course, you know, I'm not, you know, blaming, you know, your wife or anything. You know, yeah. she left it on red. That could have been maybe y'all were busy, you know, you ran through it. I mean, but in my head, I was like, you know, maybe I'm at the point to where, you know. She said, I don't remember that. Means you don't yeah, you, you, know, I mean, so you probably don't. I'm like, so I understand. Like, no, I feel you, that's bro. when in my head, I'm like, well, maybe, you know, I've done so much, you know, kind of like letting them down to where I'm like, all right, they kind of like, you know, cut me up to it. Like, you know, done personal, just business and stuff because. You know, prior to that, you know, what I was doing behind the scenes. It's bigger than business. Like I said, you know, despite, you know, being, you know, editing videos and stuff like that, you know, there was some times where I kind of slacked off. And this is where the whole, you know, being too comfortable, it kicked in. Like, mm-hmm. once again, you know, being too comfortable, you know, in a certain situation, you know, you think you got it good and so on and so on, and then bam, reality hits in. You'll be wise. It's not done at a certain time. You know, once again, I couldn't say anything, you know, I'm like... Yeah. Honestly, you know, there's days where, you know, I didn't record, you know, I was at home and stuff, you know, I regret doing this now, you know, I just, I laid down on the bed all day, either on my iPad and stuff, or maybe just, oh, I, I, I'll i finish the videos at this certain time, this day, you know, this certain time, you know, which is, once again, I was just too stuck in, you know, that comfort zone. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> being in that comfort zone too long, you know, like I said, once again, in the hospital, I realized that, bro, that can be one of the most dangerous places. You can be it for cripple, sure. It cripples you. You know, during that time, you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, lazy, eating terrible. Like I said, laying down all day, not doing anything. All that stuff, you know, built up, you know, throughout the past two years, and it just bam, it creeped up on me. What? So, yeah. From an outside perspective, for me, because um, I wasn't as close to you, of course. Like I came in the fold yeah. kind of late. Like I was in and out, mm-hmm. and so I really didn't get a good relationship with you during that frame. Like I was mm-hmm. like, that's the homie. Yeah. That's all I knew. Um, but when during the frame where you were gone, you know, they would speak about you a lot. That's yeah. what they yeah. did. Me speaking to Dub consistently, the way I spoke to Dub or Ross consistently, the way I spoke to uh, Ross, mm-hmm. like I understood the level of brotherhood that you had to, with them. Mm-hmm. That yeah. you may not have understood how tight it was, but of course, I mean, clearly yeah. you didn't, and clearly your mind was putting some other narrative, but yeah. it was a. Just speaking to Dub sometimes, it, it hurt him a lot of times just speaking about the situation because he's like, that's my dog from like yeah. elementary. You know, these are like elementary, however young y'all were. Yeah, we're um, like 2009, bro. Exactly. Like, we're, look, babe, we're like, Long time ago. Like little kids. You know, we're like young adults. <laughs> we're like, bro, we're like kids, and, bro. And <laughs> so like from the outside perspective looking in, I understood what type of relationship it yeah. was. So like anything, you could have probably, you probably could have walked up to Dub House one day and then gave him a whole plan of what you wanted to do to change. And he probably would be like, you know what? Yeah, come back. Like yeah. that, probably, right. probably just like that. And, if and he could have said, well, I did. And once again, <laughs> being, you know, right. that comfort zone, mm-hmm. you know, it just backfired. Yeah. Oh, I, I do, I do it the next day, some other day. Like, yeah. no, like during that whole time, I was just building up, you know, internally, like, the, you know, terrible stuff, you know, just gluttony, overweight, high blood pressure. They call it the silent killer for a reason because you right. feel fine. And then next thing you know, bam, like I said, prior to my stroke, it was like a normal work day. I felt good, amazing and stuff. And they say, you know, I woke up just feeling like complete crap. 
I ate Dang. crap prior that night. I think the last meal I had was a Cinnabon, which is crazy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 I had moved to like a different location at work, and I was close to a Cinnabon. I'm like, you know, I don't eat Cinnabon often. Just, you know, smelling, you know, that every day. Once again, I was eating that too much. I was eating it maybe like every other day. Damn. And like I said, yeah, terrible, exactly. But yeah, I was just still feeling fine. Like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm good. You know, it, once again, I just, it just woke up the next day, just caught to me. Like, I know Cinnabon is like 800 calories. Mm. So just Whew. terrible, you know, just. So that's why, I, you know, I, I dealt with this experience. You know, I definitely want to, you know, kind of, you know, educating the people that's going through what I'm going through. Because I'm sure there's a lot of them just random people or, you know, people from, you know, ITC, you know, they're overweight, you know, stressed out, constantly eat terrible. You know, I just pretty much want to be like the advocate of that. Like, you know, you definitely got to get out of that comfort zone. Yeah. That, oh, I'm pissed off at the world, but, you know, let me shelter myself, you know, with food and, mm -hmm. you know, just being, you know, laziness and stuff. That's a killer, um, man. Like I said, prior to that, uh, if I, you know, if I'm not working, you no, know, I'm in my room laying down all day on my iPad and stuff. I was at the hospital to where I couldn't lay down. Physical ter therapy, I mean, they, shout out to them, you know, but they were like strict. I remember waking up like seven in the morning. Get up, get to work. Barely sleep, like, all right, yeah. you got to get up. <laughs> yeah. And they even tell you like, we really don't allow you to be on the bed all day. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at a point to where. Stay moving. Even, you know, I'm, you know, I'm currently, currently not working and stuff, you know. I'm either sitting down on the couch all day and stuff. Like, I'm just not laying down because, you know, I just, I'm just, my body's not used to that. You know, I'm trained now to where, you know, I can just, you know, sit up, you know, stop being lazy, you know, just. And so it's just like, it's, it just really like molded me, you know, those three weeks of being in the hospital and stuff. Yeah. That's a beautiful yeah, thing. So, and, and just, just to kind of piggyback on the earlier conversation, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. You, we brothers. True. So we yeah. ain't going nowhere. Um, yeah. You know, you don't have to ever feel like, yeah. yeah, I did too much to have them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> unless you shoot me, you know. <laughs> I mean, the love was truly it, it never lost. To be something, yeah, it, it has, has to be extreme. something very extreme, you know, like yeah. where I have to stay away from you for the sake of my life. Right. Yeah, but yeah. uh yeah, bro. I mean, you and put yourself as, in this. As soon as I got the the call, man. Mm -hmm. I, I was really trying to go that he day. went to like the, he went to a graduation <laughs> ceremony mm. that day. I think he came after or like even before, but either prior, he just yeah, you yeah. know made sure he pulled through. Yeah, and I'm bro. like, mm -hmm. you know, once again, I'm like, man, you know, they they came. I was like, yeah, bro, it was just, you know, what better, you know, was gonna do exactly. Yeah. What, what did you say when you saw us walking in? I was I was speechless for like a couple of seconds. I'm like, bro, you are actually here, you know? But I had to. <laughs> I ain't want you know. I couldn't fully you know. I was couldn't fully like talk as much you know. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I was just excited. I'm like. Man, they came through, you know, everything's good now, so and so, you know, I'm like anything, you know, what I dealt with, you know, it's just like just the past is the past, you know. I just know that they still, you know, they still got me, you know, for support. And like I say it's just, it's just a good feeling, you know. Yeah. You know, telling my dad, you know, that too, you know, yeah, they came through and stuff. Shout out to my dad too, you know, he was there, you know. I wanna say maybe like a week and a half every day, you know, just telling me what was you know, you know, telling me it's not my fault, you know, it's I'm sure educating me about, you know, high blood pressure, you know, he deals with that too, has it's kind of like hereditary, but you know, there's ways you can just, you know, stop that and just mm -hmm. pretty much educate me, you know? So, yeah. like it, I tell, uh, powerful. yeah, like I used to tell, well, I still tell them this. I should, I so this to y'all before. I said, uh, I always, I always would tell them, I'd be like, once you locked in, you locked in for life. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to do, like he said, you got to do something extreme mm -hmm. to yeah. get out of my circle at that mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Once I put you in there, and that's, that's a the thing, you know, like when you <laughs> when you locked in with someone, family, friends, or whatever, you're not gonna always get along. Mm -hmm. But it's ship it's always gonna be that mutual love and respect. For right. sure. So when something happens, all right, where you at? Let's figure it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's for everybody that's in this room right now. Oh, for people sure. that's you know, you know, y'all know who mm -hmm. y'all are. Like if there's something I find out, mm -hmm. get wind of it. We may not even speak for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, we may not, we may have a disagreement or whatever, <clears throat> but when it comes to life and death, that ain't nothing to play with. That ain't nothing yeah. to be like. Yeah. I ain't talked to him forever. I ain't gonna go see because yeah. you never know. You know, you never know if something happens, and then you didn't get a chance to see that. Then you are gonna feel right. shitty as hell. Feel yeah. awful, and That's we've true. seen it happen, and not even just for the extreme, just in general, like if. If we consider you homies, you've been in this man career multiple times. Kids know who you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom was like, oh, let me know how Brandon's feeling. 
Cause I had to go right, over there. Right. I'm like, let me know how you know how's he holding up. You know, people that know me that knew know you hit you up and was trying to make sure. Like, if you locked in with us as friends, then of course we gonna pull up. We, of course we gonna yeah. check because then that shows you who your friends are, Facts. who your family yeah. is. Nah, for real. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if those are people who weren't able to make it, those who hit you up and checked up on you, that yeah, lets you bro, know just... how much people care about you because if a person don't give a fuck, they're not going to show up. Simple yeah. as that. And Perks. and that was never up, not our... Check on yeah. You. yeah, that was yeah. never our intentions. You know, we, we had our issues or whatnot, but it was never on our end for sure. It was never... We would ever want anything bad to happen to you. We would ever right. want you to be in any type of pain or any type of hurt because, no, that's not how we get yeah. down. We all go through stuff. We all dealing with stuff, pain that we trying to, you know, right. adjust to it and mm-hmm. try to make the best out of it. But at the end of the day, if any one of these individuals in this room call me, right. I'm going to be there. And I, and I feel it would be the same way if something happened on my end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were there. For my um my uncle's funeral, they were the uh, the Paul Bears last minute. It was like I want to say a week. Oh no, I appreciate that man. It's all it's all love. Uh, it was like maybe a week before you end up going to the hospital. Two weeks, Mm -hmm. they were all there, and I hit them up. Hey, we don't have enough Paul Bears. Can y'all be there um, for the family? And they pulled up. Yeah, that's that's real. All them pulled up. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to. They could have done anything else, but that meant a lot to my mom. It meant yeah. a lot to me. It still, it still gets to me even now because of just them pulling up for me, bro. True. During that hard time, so it's it's all love, man. Like now we at this point where, what's next for you going forward? Now yeah. that we we address what happened in the past, mm-hmm. there was different perspectives, miscommunication, but it was never any hatred. No, what's no, next no, for you going forward now? Well, like I said, definitely uh, having just a new perspective. Um, I definitely just want to dedicate my life to God first. And, Amen. You know, just also mm. man, just a healthy lifestyle. <clears throat> hey, man, bro. Like I said, I just felt like it was nothing but God and, you know, just support, mm-hmm. you know, for my friends and family. And I just, I don't want to deal with nothing like this again. You know, mm-hmm. you know, I say it's a blessing. I know there's some cases where, you know, even, even I'm young, you know, my age is people that just don't make it out of this situation. They like, don't. you know. So I just feel like, you know, it's just my, you know, my, I was talking to Warren's father about this last week. I just felt like it's just my, I guess I'm like, he was saying like, this is your testament. Yeah. You know? yeah. I just want to educate people. Like I said, cause I know there's so many people that's, you know, living with what I went through, you know, constantly just, you know, may you, you, you may be active, but you know, just eating, you know, eating, you know, terrible, you know, being overweight, you know, definitely got to watch your weight. I just want to be the example of that, you know, just want to teach and educate as much people as I can. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I definitely would like to start a, a whole new, uh, like, you know, channel. You know, of course, you know, the Trillist Loser, what I talked about like mm-hmm. three years ago and stuff. Also along with my main channel. I want to put, you know, just, you know, reaction videos, you know, miscellaneous stuff on there, but just <laughs> pretty much keep, you know, the main channel just to, you know, yeah. be educating people. Because mm-hmm. I know there's so many people out there that's dealing with this, you know, Absolutely. regardless of age and stuff. Because like I said, you know, I'm 33 and, you know, the way how I used to eat, you know, is... There's no way a 33 year old should be eating, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like I said, I feel like you know your diet in your 20s shouldn't be your diet in your 30s. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. And I remember, yeah, I remember a doctor. He was telling me that he was cool. Way. He was he was Same. keeping it in 100 women, you know, because some doctors they'll tell you like, hey, so and so, well, you know, we gotta put you on this net and you'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, he gave it to me real. You know, he was like, okay, I'll tell him like, doc, what's the worst thing you can put in your body? And he's like, sugar. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. like, it's too much of it. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I said, he was just being real and like, you know, you just gotta even you know, have like a you know perfect balance of you know. You know, you can, you know, indulge from time to time, but, you know, when you're at a certain age, you know, you just can't really put, you know, it's your moderation. body through that much stuff. You know, it's that moderation. Is that, yeah. And, you know, People I look back how I used to eat and stuff. I'm like, damn, like, <clears throat> yeah. I'm, just, I'm happy to be, <laughs> happy to be here still. It. Yeah, caught I, I caught it. You and this was, your, this was your wake-up call. And just like, you know, my yeah. dad was telling you and I was telling you as well, bro, you got a testimony. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and it's, it's. Why me? Why not me? Instead yeah, of yeah. us telling God why I, me? Yeah, honestly, when I was in there, I, at first I was like, you know, why Why did I do? But mm-hmm. then again, I'm like, I can't be mad at nobody but myself. But yourself, yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, okay, let me learn from this. You know, of course, you had some doctors saying like, oh, you can, you're going to make a recovery. And you had some, some doctors like, you got to take into consideration there's a good chance you may not get your stuff back. This is when I couldn't even walk, couldn't even well, do look, nothing. But well, look at you. Now yeah. I'm at the point, you know, I don't even really need a cane. You know, I can walk, maybe have a little limp, but... 
I can still, you know, walk regularly, you know, which is a blessing, you know. Because mm-hmm. so, you wasn't walking when we went I to was the, not. Uh, yeah. the hospital. I mean, bro, it, it's, God is great, mm-hmm. you know. Amen. Um, yep. And I believe that not only are you going to make 100% full recovery, yeah. but now your testimony is going to help save lives even more than what you it's were true. doing before. Amen. You know, yeah. there's somebody watching this right now that's going through something. Mm-hmm. Um, there's somebody that's, you know, we're not talking about enough stress. You know that's, what I'm saying? People yeah, people stress over stuff. I stress over stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. But the last thing you want to do is stress over something that don't matter. So true. Yep. as humans, bro, as people, we got to understand and just learn how to let stuff go. Yeah. Like, let it go. Mm-hmm. Like, it go. ain't that serious. When you mm-hmm. really think about which, you know what? It's odd. So don't judge me. <laughs> it's a video uh, that will go around social media. It would start off on, like, a street or on earth somewhere. And then it would zoom out. Mm-hmm. to the city then it would zoom out to the state then it would zoom out to the country then it would zoom out even more to where you would see the whole world and then it would yeah. zoom out to the solar system and it kept zooming all the mm-hmm. way out until you seen the galaxy and then yeah. beyond the nebula, mm-hmm. the nebula. But, <laughs> nebula. <laughs> but yeah when you when i looked at that i was like bro nah small we are Very true. when you zoomed yeah. out all the way across like the galaxies and mm-hmm. all that and I'm just like that just lets you know some of the stuff we worry about and yeah. we, we be so concerned with and we keep on our mind getting headaches over mm-hmm. it don't really matter yeah mm-hmm. and when you start holding on to the things that actually matter you start yeah. to realize the stresses of the world and the weight of the world just start to slowly come true. up off your shoulders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, for a lot of people that's going through something right now, man, we all going through stuff. But at the end of the yeah. day, keep holding on. Yeah. Like, keep Amen. fighting. Because right. it's always worth it at the end of the day. When you look back, you're yeah. going to be like, man, I was tripping over nothing. Bro, that's exactly how I felt. <laughs> I was like, man, what was I mad about? Why did I get upset about this? It don't even this matter. Head, no you know, I'm like, I'm... That self reflection, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I was moving at the same time. I was maybe upset, but I was like, why was I so upset? Why did I so and so? And like I said, uh, let me go back to you know the whole now you know congratulating you or anything. I know like you were your partners and stuff. You know, I just definitely want to address this. I remember oh, yeah. when I was once again laying down, watching what the, was it, WrestleMania when CM Punk came or something like that. He mm-hmm. made his arrival. Mm-hmm. I was laying down. It was no. It was like Monday Night Raw. I mm-hmm. think not WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm Punk like, all right. So I, once again, you know, I just got off work. Next thing, let's show uh, CM Punk come out. You know, the whole mm-hmm. arena going. You know, ape shit. They say, <laughs> you know, they're showing certain YouTubers in like for that mm-hmm. that slight micro second. I'm like, I wonder if you know, see in the clutch. <laughs> I see Chisel. I'm like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. They say, you know, I shout see y'all. Homie. And then, bro, I honestly, man, shout out to Chisel. Definitely, I was mm-hmm. like, despite you know me being upset. Because once again, when I saw accomplishments from what y'all going, I'm like, all right, man, that's what's up. But I, in my head, I'm like, no, I, I should be there. You know, I just felt more disappointed in myself. I saw I saw, I saw, saw y'all on TV. All I did was laugh and smile. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, <laughs> get in my head. I'm like, bro, they, they, they're they fucking, no, no, they're on, once, I'm not trying to curse it. No, no, I'm no, like, yeah, they're yeah. on TV. I'm like, for like, so that slight second, I felt happy. I'm like, oh, my God, like, man, this shit crazy. Then a part of me was like, all right, they made it. You know, they, they worked this hard. They made they it, man. Made it. Once again, that's when that whole manipulation mindset comes in. Yeah. I'm like, man, they don't want nothing to do with me. I, I failed so many times. They gave me so many chances. I got you. You know, I'm like, but I, once again, it was like, I, I was happy for y'all, but I, I, of course, I didn't want to hit y'all because I didn't think, you know, y'all you would. tore yourself you know, down. Yeah, 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 I tore myself tore down. And, so, yeah. and then, like, I think SmackDown or something like that, like, mm-hmm. people were tagging me and, like, mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. being, like, they're showing, like, the arena, like, you know, them, once again, now there was... Oh, y'all so and so, and like the fact that I was included, even though I wasn't there, I'm like, it just goes to show how the Clutch Squad, you know, a lot of them, they were still like, they see me as a part of that. It's how much yeah. of an influence you Family. Yeah. And so, like I said, I, it wasn't no ill will or nothing. It was like, it was a silent congratulation, even though, of course, you know, you probably expect a phone call or more. <laughs> like, it was just like, all right, they made it. That's what's up. Once again, all right, what am I going to do? All right, man, I'm going I'm to I'm do my best to get on that level. But once again, I just kept procrastinating. Yeah. Once again, being in that dangerous comfort zone, and you know, I, I paid the price for it. Yeah. Well, so, look, yeah, and again, that, this, this ain't no thing. I don't want people to take it. Through. You don't got to rub my back when yeah, you I, do I, something. <laughs> yeah. It's not that, True. but you, no. it's just the 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 unconscious move you do when right. you see somebody mm-hmm. you rock with. Yeah. Or reach achieve any kind of yeah, yeah achieve or reach any kind of goal. Yeah. Like I don't care what the goal is. Like even you losing weight, man. 
looking like the Brandon I used to hang out with back in the day. Right, I don't know. I keep saying, but I feel like it's 2012 again. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like bro, it's just, it was like yeah. when he said he pulled up and saw you. When I yeah. saw you, I'm like, bro, Brandon looks good. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? 50 pounds and down, man, which is crazy. 50 like, pounds, man. Like, like don't weight. sleep yeah. on Like, that's Not, an accomplishment. Yeah, it was definitely, like, despite what I'm going through, therapy, recovering, I look at myself in the mirror because I have days where I'm like, I feel sluggish and stuff. I'm like, damn. I look in the mirror and I'm like, it's like another part of me like, man, All right. what the hell are you tripping about? Exactly. Like, boy, <laughs> yeah. you, you slim. You <laughs> okay. looking good, you know. Boy, and I'm like, you know, it's, it's yeah. bad so. Which also was all to me, you know, I, I think, I don't know, it has something to do with the stroke. You know, my taste and my smell, having a stroke, your brain, it just affects so much. Yeah. So does. I couldn't eat anything. You know, I didn't have a taste or food. They forced me to eat until I, I was finally able to like, Drink like insure shakes, mm-hmm. and then today you was telling us even more now. Yeah, you're smelling. Yesterday, yeah, food. for the first time I ate, you know, certain stuff, and I didn't like gag up or nothing. And I was like, oh my god, you know, this is, this is, you know, I felt I felt amazing. So it's part of that. Recovery. But at the same time, I, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I can I can finally indulge, you know, certain foods again and stuff. But don't let this, you know, overthrow you know your your movement and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you fifty pound down, you know, I would definitely want to lose another fifty. Of course, very slowly because you know I did yeah, lose yeah, a lot yeah. of weight fast, and I was kind of yeah. getting scared. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm losing too much. Yeah, you know, definitely want to you know knock off maybe at least maybe like a hundred, maybe 150 pounds, get to maybe like 220 or something like that, a more healthier, you know. I but I feel like this you, is like man. the next challenge. I feel like this is God. Like, all right, I gave you, you know, your taste, you know, your sense mm. of, you know, smell back. I, right, you know, this is gonna be, you know, like, you know, your test. Are you gonna fall off the wagon again and stuff? Which I strongly, I'm confident I'm not because I said I don't want to deal with that no more. And you got so, accountability partners. Not only us, yes. Not only mm-hmm. your bros, your family. Yeah. Um, but you like I said, also just seeing y'all come back in and seeing y'all eating healthy, even though y'all really don't have to. Um, even when we thirty, you know, we should. You know, we don't have to. No, you have to. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> like same here. I'm, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, y'all, y'all, y'all not. You know, of course, overweight like me, y'all still eating healthy. So I'm like, you know, it's just I got weight to lose. So I've been working. Yeah, I've been working out. Um, more and just you know not letting not letting the, the busy life because mm-hmm. that's what it was like being yeah. so busy with kids and running around chasing them all day you forget about I start to neglect my own self yeah. true, so man. I didn't took that back and yeah. I'm on the same train you are so we're yeah. gonna make sure we all keep each other <clears throat> oh, yeah, um, on our toes and yeah. you know you never know man you might like see us in the uh the bodybuilding show I mean hey that's, that's very true hey that's the goal that's the goal yeah. exactly yeah. <laughs> Two percent body fat. I remember when I was this guy. You see this man right here? Like, see him? I remember him. Like, Look right. at that. I mean, that's, but that's no true. longer me. <laughs> like I said, they, uh, in a hospital. So like, see, you know, my dad was telling me, you know, he's like, regardless of you know height, I mean, uh, weight and stuff, you know, having high blood pressure, you, know, you can be skinny or fit. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you just got to take care of yourself. You got to sure. maintain it. You yeah. gotta, you have to. I think it's I seen. Uh, Will Smith taking pills or yeah. some one time for high blood pressure. Like, mm-hmm. and I, it's the silent killer for a reason. Yeah. You may feel good, but yeah, no, it just it just creeps up on stop you. Stop stressing. Just, hey, definitely stop the, stressing. The more I start not caring about stuff, yeah. I'm like, oh God, you sure? Stop stressing. Yeah, I, bet. I, I will let it go. Mm-hmm. I'ma move. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, the woes of the world don't conform me. It mm-hmm. doesn't doesn't yeah. shape my mentality, and it shouldn't shape That's anybody true. else's. Uh-huh. Do what you love to do, okay. as long as you're not trying to cause any havoc or hate on anyone else's true. life. Feel what you feel and be confident yeah. in what you feel Amen. and move. Because people gonna always, oh, you think that? Oh, you voting for them? Oh, mm-hmm. you damn right. I'm yes. voting here. I'm yes. doing this. Yes. And I'm Speaking doing that. Because I mean, so... it make me happy. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. What do? What makes you happy? Mm-hmm. Very true. Move on. Mm-hmm. As long as you ain't harming nobody else, strongly keep on saying that. As long as you're not harming. Yep. No one else, or hating on nobody else, or bringing unwanted yeah. anger, yeah. or you know anything towards another human being. Do right. what you love. And that's what they tell them moving. in the hospital, man. The, the therapy, they're like, you got to do what makes you happy. Happy. Of course, one of the number one things is like stress for like anybody. Yeah. And I'm like, exactly. you, know, you got to you know learn to you know just you know, relieve that stress. <laughs> So, so. Keep it moving because the internet is a fake place. Very mm-hmm. true. Uh, <laughs> just log out. But, yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> this was a, um, a very, very therapeutic. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You got me almost crying, bro. I never. I know, never, but I, I like almost, Yeah, I was about to say, you yeah, almost caught me on like, camera hey, crying. Man, on, bro, I remember seeing like a, uh, your video of like the wedding and stuff. And, I, and man, oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah. Is duh, is one, are you about to cry, my God? Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I've never struggling. seen this before. Like, I don't think yeah. I've never seen like. I was like, ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, bro, nah, because oh. I, I never seen even like like Nisha. I never seen her cry really. Like I'm like I've never seen real, you know, crying. Have. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> but you know, for a good thing. But I remember, you know, what? I've been married to him for almost eleven years. He's only cried like what twice. But like I said, I've never seen more than you know, twice. Dub cry before. Yeah, I've cried more than twice. It was Stop close. It. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. My mom, his mom. <laughs> 
Yo, definitely. You like might get what three. You're saying, like what your mom told you at the wedding. I'm mm, like, yeah, my mom. Oh, yeah, that's that. Nisha, I but I, I just thought about yeah. you know not to make this a but real quick. Nisha was coming down the aisle. I just thought about her always wanting her wedding mm-hmm. and just, oh, just yeah, having yeah. some form of like mm-hmm. you know even though I don't necessarily care for what people see it, yeah. but I get women. You sure. know they they for sure. they love that. Yeah. So <clears throat> you can get out of your comfort zone, and that's what I did doing that. Mm-hmm. You know renewal because I'm like bro. It's to yeah. rep- show the representation of what we've done for over a decade. Mm-hmm. So seeing her finally doing that as she's walking down the aisle, you know, my my grandmother, rest in peace, <clears throat> they had her picture mm-hmm. and Nisha's granny yeah. picture in the mm-hmm. front seats. And um, as she's walking in, I'm already fighting, swinging mm-hmm. for my life, you know, because I'm like, exactly. she looks beautiful. She's getting everything right. she wanted. Then next thing you know. My mom says, you know, your grandmother would be really proud. She's smiling at you right now. Mm. Yeah, that's and, I would have I'm like, oh. got you. Once she said that, like, <laughs> I was just like, I'm like, come on, God dang, mom, why, why would you say that? Mom? And then I, I looked at her picture, and of course, right. she's smiling in the picture, yeah. but she said, your grandma is really smiling at you right yeah. now. Like, gotcha. she's just looking down on you, and I just couldn't. Oh, yeah, I was that's just, true. that's when I started, you know, you start getting picked <laughs> up just a little bit. Right. Go mm-hmm. away. Yeah. I held it pretty tough, though. I, I kind of. Yeah, you did, yeah. And I was like, bro, did you rub your eye? I was like, there yeah, it is. Like I heard take the glasses ah, off. Like dub, dub is human. Okay, yeah, confirm. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta hold you. you gotta exactly, rotate yeah. you. And then Ross tried to make me cry. And he ended up crying. <laughs> That's <laughs> the Ross. Ross. <laughs> I was I mean, like, it, 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 how uh, did that happen? The, that whole part, it, it was funny, but at the same time, I was like, you know, man, I wish I would have been there because I ain't gonna. I would, I would have cried too. You know? <laughs> I was like, I wanted to try to call. I'm like, yo, so could I? And it, once again, that whole mind manipulation. <laughs> yes, I was there since day one. You know, I've seen the ups and downs from y'all, and I'm like, so. That's why I feel like you see all these couples, you know, quote unquote well, toxic couples or whatever. They they write these books and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I definitely should write a book. Like, yeah. you know, just you know, I mean, because we've been through it all. Exactly. Just, mm-hmm. We yeah. just never tried to make ourselves seem like a power or anything. For like, real. I, I always exactly. tell people, don't put me on it because you know people I say see the same us thing. on our mm-hmm. videos and they be yeah. like, oh y'all goes no. Cause we didn't like that, and, and we didn't exactly. joke about some stories that we didn't have the cutting the hair, the throwing the shoes. Yep, you know. Um, some but they, some of their friends was right there when it happened. Like, oh, for sure, <laughs> it was raw. And yeah. it was what it was. But exactly. it was real unconditional love. Mm-hmm. When you love when I love somebody, I love them for real, yeah. for real. Nah, you for know? real. And yep. you know, I try to stick with them as long as possible. So that's true. We got love for you, bro. Love of you, course. man. Appreciate once it, man. you understand Definitely that, love y'all, so, man. Yep. You once a brother, you always be a brother. Yeah, that's right. felt amazing that day when y'all, even when y'all left, I'm like, man, they came. You know, my mom, she was just so happy and stuff. I was like, good to see your so, mom as yeah. well, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, Definitely. You yeah. got a you got a village, bro. Everybody has True. a village. Yeah. yeah. And even if you feel like you don't have a village, we're your village. Yeah. yeah. Cause, Cause like I mean, what you were saying, you know, you know, I may need John, you know, I say, man, you might need me and stuff. Like just <laughs> exactly, talking, man. you know, just therapeutic and stuff. And that's when I had to realize that because like I said, everybody goes through something, you know, no matter how much money you have, you know, uh, it's that. I mean, there's you there's, there's all there's like a nonstop battle. I mean, like I said, you just need your bros or not that, sure. that, that structure, that wall <laughs> that's gonna definitely man help you fight. Dub that, calling so. me the other day helped me so much. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like I thought I was good already, mm-hmm. but I was like I really did need to talk. Yeah. Right. I didn't even understand because I was like, nobody needs to check on me. I'm straight. I mean, I'm right. usually the one who's y'all. yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I'm usually the one that yeah. checks on the people. So yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm straight. And yeah. like he said earlier, he's like, you know, you got to check on the strong friends. And I'm like, because I'm usually the friend That's that true. is giving the. Advice I don't think I never seen you mad before, stuff. Steve, which is crazy. Like, so which is my personality. Yeah, mm. like, and so had he a calls me, mind state and, and I'm like, I'm straight. I'm yeah. not straight. <laughs> yeah. I'm lying my ass so I'm like I'm not straight at all I'm I, fucked I, up right I, now I, I could feel it, mm-hmm. <laughs> I could feel it. Yep, yep. and I was trying to hold it I was like nah I think I'm good I'm really not good Right. <laughs> like the whole mm-hmm. time I'm like damn I, I think I need this conversation real bad yeah. like mm-hmm. yeah. I didn't even realize it like I was like damn I really gotta talk right now and it's, it's, very true man like it, I said, talking is definitely therapeutic yeah and stuff. we That's all it. need that bro that like, day when y'all left I just felt amazing the whole day and stuff you know, the boy's like, yes, definitely. Even when y'all left, and then that one nurse that fell in love with y'all, like, I don't know what it is. You know, bro, she, in love with us bro, y'all home. left for something like she came back to check me. She's like, man, them some fine looking brothers. I'm like, yeah, they're my bros. Yeah, like, they're my bros. <laughs> like, this is <laughs> like, you know, they're my bros. The, the boys. Bro, the fact that she probably wasn't including me, I was like, yeah, I'm part of that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's my party. Like, yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's me too. Yeah, so I was like, I'm like, oh lord, this you nurse take is this damn mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Get yeah, better. Man. Change my blanket. Yeah. Please. Shout out to the nurses, man. That was there, man. They definitely, man. They 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 mm-hmm. helped me out. They they they, the they go un- through a lot. They are the know. unsung heroes. They are. Of course, you they had sure. some that were like, you know, what? I want to say not assholes, but you know, once you got to know them, they're like, okay, they were cool. 
Because I feel like a lot of them, they, they deal with a lot. They yeah, they, they, you know, the first they time, you know, lot. seeing their patient, they don't know how their patient going to react. Mm-hmm. Every hospital is understaffed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. It's just like you were saying yeah. originally, like how they had to get you a bed in mm-hmm. the ICU. Yeah. Bro, like, it, it, shout out to the, all of the heroes that's not getting recognition. No, for sure. Nurses, yeah. uh, even some of the good doctors, mm-hmm. um, and just people in all kind of fields. Like, Very I can't true. even name it, bro. Receptionists. So, re- once everyone, they, cops, yeah. once people, they kind of realized that cops, I, I, I wasn't going to be an asshole, you know, I was mutual the whole time. I was cool. You know, they, they their attitude, you know, kind of shifted a little bit, you know, so they were yeah. definitely helping me and stuff. And then you mm-hmm. notice they, they so. kind of come check on you more. Yeah, like, definitely hey, check on me more and stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. So well, it, yeah. This is slightly different. Um, well, it's completely off topic, technically. Well, no, it's kind of on topic. Um, oh my when my son got a, uh, he fell out the car and had a concussion. Oh, oh no. Yeah, my four-year-old. Um, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I you um, yeah, glad he's okay, man. He's my, yeah. I was pulling up behind my wife, getting out the car, mm-hmm. and uh, my wife's like, "He's seeing, he's like, he's he's acting weird." And I'm like, "What you mean acting weird?" And I get in there, I'm trying to talk to him. He's looking past me and stuff, mm-hmm. yeah. and I was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, call a call a uh, ambulance, call right. him." Um, I'm trying to take care of him. He starts sucking in, like, you know, like not breathing. And I was like, yeah. uh-uh. So I'm like, pick him up. Yeah, and then yeah, I was like, yeah. I don't want to move him too much. So I like move him out to the, uh, to the carpet. Like he's still like, and oh, man. Yeah. That's a, that's and, a, that's and, and so yeah. she's yeah. freaking out mm-hmm. and I'm like, call now, <laughs> like go. Yeah. And I'm like trying to do <laughs> stuff. And I'm like, I push on him, like kind of, you know, make sure he's good. And he mm-hmm. like breathes a little bit. And I'm like, okay. He's, there's some breathing. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, she's calling the uh, people to get to get here. They they actually got there pretty quick. It was probably like it, it felt long for her, but I was watching the time. I was like, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, and right. they they pull up, and at that point, he's he's you know kind of up, and he's like half answering, but he's not like mm-hmm. completely there. Yeah. And they like give him all these questions. He's completely out of there. I'm standing next to him, trying to make sure they're not like doing right. some weird stuff. And then um, we put him. They put him on the stretcher. And like, do you feel like you got to throw up? And he's like, yes. And he threw up. And I was like, yeah, he got a concussion for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, he man. threw up and they had to put him in the uh, put him in the ambulance truck. I hate the fact that I put him in there, but I it had to be done. Yeah, um, yeah. That bill hurt. But uh, mm. <laughs> after the fact, I didn't care about it at the time. Yeah. America. No, for real. America, <laughs> at the time, I was like, I don't give a damn. Put him in there. Come on. No, for sure. He's like, uh, anybody ride? Uh, y'all want to ride behind? I was like, ride behind. <laughs> <laughs> Move <up>. over. <laughs> <laughs> I hopped in there so quick. I was like, "All right, I'm with him. I'm riding with him all the way to the uh, hospital." And they get up. It's like a line of people. Like, like you said, you see all these people in yeah. the ICU area. And um, I think it's Methodist. Was that he's Methodist? Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of people in there. Mm-hmm. And there, and then she was like, "Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a wait for the ICU." Da da da. And yeah. the cop goes up. He says something to me. He said, "Hold on." So he like walks up to like some of the, one of the receptions on the right. He's like, "In there." And like he gets major in ahead of like some other people, yeah. and I was like, that's yeah. real. That, that's real. That's amazing, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. took care of my boy. Ended up giving him, you know, some medicine. He's sitting yeah. there, and he starts coming back because I was on the phone with you yeah, actually yeah, at the time. Yeah. Right. I yeah. ended up talking to you about because I know that's one of them. Like, yeah, I was, you know, with your kids, man. That's that's yeah. That was that's why I feel terrifying. for people who have gone through stuff with their kids or even lost a child. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I could only imagine. Like, it mm-hmm. just it just. I don't know. It just seemed like something about you. That you would know, be a lot. It just takes different level of faith and prayer. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. and again, I know it's a lot of people that lost people, lost loved ones. <laughs> yeah. You know, so you never know what somebody is going through. Mm-hmm. You never want to overshadow them with mm-hmm. a conversation, a smile, love, because uh, people are experiencing things. And I'm so glad he was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. that was a blessing too. That that because we walked up and those Same cops experience. were like they met us and then you had the EMTs and stuff. Right. And uh, the cop walked up to me. He said, "What's going on?" And I just was like, "My son got a concussion." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Okay." Like he just he, seen, he just seen it. a little yeah. kid. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. just didn't understand what was going right. on. So he runs over and like talks to the lady and they like pushed us past everybody. And it yeah. was like yeah. 30, 40 people in there. That's Jeez. one of them. That's one of them important. <laughs> You know, like yeah. things where you know, unless you a gunshot victim, you right. know, mm-hmm. certain things get bumped up on the scale mm-hmm. yeah. over others, just depending on what the yeah. emergency is. But. Yeah, I, you would think that a lot of the times, but then I've seen some stuff where I'm like, why are why are they not going in? Yeah, like, yeah right. <laughs> you they'll just have them waiting up, and they look like they this is a person out in the uh, lobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, dying, <laughs> and they're just like, you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. third in line. <laughs> that's that Ben Tobby too. No, oh, for man. real. <laughs> no, for real. 
I would never go to Ben Todd. Hell yeah. no. They good with trauma, but back in the day, boy, you would see people out on the sidewalk and you like dying. Is he dead or is he <laughs> completely unconscious? Yeah, I'm just like, and your mom just walking me. I'm just like, but why are we walking past the dead guy? <laughs> hey, somebody mm-hmm. needs to help, mommy. Yep. <laughs> you know, or LBJ. It's, mm. it's a couple hospitals. Yeah, it's a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. Yeah. You Don't Houston, take me there. You from bro. Houston? I'm you like, know. I'm like, yeah, we we known for you know medicine and this and that, but yeah. uh, there's some we stuff some, you want to avoid. Some hospitals yeah, that's there. Very true. Yeah. Hey man, I never. Where my kidney, man? I, I didn't come in for that. Where man. my kidney? I had a cough. <laughs> Where my kidney? <laughs> we want to thank you for your donation today, brother. You signed up for it? No, I didn't. Yeah, you yeah, did. You when did. we gave you the medicine. We got you. Well, you was able to sedate, but you know, hold on. Like, Why would you sedate me then make me sign? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Seems you all fucked up and shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, he signed. He signed it all right. But there's a lot of medical people that go through a lot. So shout out yeah, to them, man. Love them. But this this was a very therapeutic pod. We, we sure. needed one of this. Very 101 good, good. Was, was definitely needed. Yep. Um, hopefully we get you on here again. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're always welcome exactly. to yeah. come pull up and, mm-hmm. and kick it with us, man. And um, uh, I'm glad that the relationship and just the understanding is where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, everybody's sure. on I'd one accord it. with really true, man. with how we mm-hmm. rock. Sure, you know, shouldn't be no. Said, it's, just, it's just a blessing and a relief, man. And, you know, we you know we cool. You know, no love lost and none. For like sure. I said last weekend it was just like a movie to me. It, just it was lit last weekend. Yeah, and I'm like, my God. I mean, I was I prayed and dreamed for you know. A day like this, you know, I was in the hospital and the fact that it happened, I'm like, man, just seeing Chisel. Shout out to Chisel and, you know, his brother and, you know, Judo. Uh, pretty much Gobble, Judo. man. Yes, but hit sir. me up in the hospital, man, once mm-hmm. again. Certain people, like, you know, I, I didn't expect, like I said, no, no, you know, ill will done, but I'm like, you know, when they hit me up, I was like, you know, it really made me feel, you know, how much, you know, love, you know, I had, you know, especially from the club squad as well. Of course, bro. Yes, sir. They, they was checking in on you. Uh, yeah. Well, before we get out of here, mm-hmm. um, I was scrolling on, or somebody sent me a post. In my DMs yesterday, I think me and Ross and um, <clears throat> DreamCon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next I watched year, that yesterday. Um, mm-hmm. RDC uh, looks like they're gonna be in Houston. Yeah. Oh, the year. way they did it. Oh, too, RDC. Wow. The way they did it, just like he they said, was uh, mm-hmm. trying to make movies. Announce where, where they were going. <laughs> right. But I ain't gonna say nothing else. I'm just yeah, gonna say DreamCon. DreamCon is in Houston next year. Yep. Right. Yeah. Twenty five, May thirtieth through June first. I want to say. Yes, oh, sir. I believe that's it. All, that's hey, all I'm, I'm down say. definitely there. That. Man. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. WrestleMania yes. um, is in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, trying to figure out if we're gonna do the whole uh, inner clutch experience thing again. Right. If things go right with that, and if it's lining up, we may do that. Mm-hmm. But if we just so happen to need to, <clears throat> you know, what I'm saying, go to the <laughs> the city of the nightlife. <laughs> a, it's it's looking pretty good either way. God said the same. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure. We gonna be what all six packs and stuff by the end? Or? <laughs> absolutely. Sure. Yeah. I don't absolutely. know about the six packs. But nah, you know. six four? packs. Nah, six. You know, four. No, I'm not. Come doing on, four both. pack. <laughs> I'm not doing the four pack. I don't. I'm not doing this with y'all, Damn, bro. I'm and that's another thing too. Me, the fact that the four <laughs> references is still alive and well. Like, it's been, no, <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long since I heard that, bro. I heard it like uh, last Saturday. Guess what his QB's number is on college football? <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's four. He's embraced. He it. did that did shit on purpose. Yeah. He's Ross this, just straight up this embraced it. right now, leading in the league, damn near in a uh, Heisman race, bro. This nigga yeah. been he going got, crazy. He created an in the clutch team. Yeah, uh, college. Yeah, yeah. You right Cole, now, Steve Cole. I'm just there. This man. Nah, you know what I call, This bro, man said four games. I had like 900 yards. I'm like, God, oh no, nah, you had uh, 1300 now <laughs> on the fifth game. You had 300 receiving, five touchdowns. Brandon had sack, forced fumble sack. They took you out. Cause you was going off in the first half, and then they just they took you out. I think you had <laughs> over two hundred rushing yards. They said relax. And his I injury like, uh, stuff was probably like going two, up. Two, three mm-hmm. touchdowns, and then they took you out. Cause I was trying to run, get you like at least 300, 400 yards. Uh, they and not they trying to let me be a Heisman, bro. Game, Crazy, like your third quarter, I was like, what they're the? Not, fuck? This man injury high. risk was going up. They had yeah, to put him yeah, down. I think it, that's what it was. Cause you was. Bro, you was running. He said, "Sit that man down. He's a workhorse." <laughs> so they they took you out like in the third quarter. But now nah, I have I have, I created the squad on there, man. We undefeated. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get us in top twenty five. Have you streamed you know? it at all? Hey, nah, yeah. I didn't stream it. Nah, I didn't stream it. I think Y'all. we're gonna get back to um streaming next week or the week after. Perfectly next week. Up. I yeah. just got GTA too. So I think we're gonna get back to streaming hey. next week. <laughs> so uh, GTA for PC specifically. Yeah. I think that GTA Bob is still. I relevant. think we're gonna get back to streaming. <laughs> <laughs> If you know, 
You know, it's, it's yeah, about sure. time to uh, kick it up. But uh, this has been a great pod. Awesome, Thanks, man. glad to have you back. And so, you for sure, for sure, back, man. Uh, Appreciate you for being the bottom and having me back, my brother. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yes, sure. Shout out to Steve, yep. uh, Ross. Hey, I want to say thank you, bro. Cool. I really wanted them Olympics, and I really appreciate you for this. Is a real one, man. He really a real Ross's, one. Hey, really bought three pair for us. You like, don't got a homie I'm, like I'm, Ross. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm still flabbergasted that you don't, that, you know, you don't got, got a homie like Ross, bro. <laughs> exactly. Then some wrong. You ain't doing. Ross, wrong. the realest thing I know. He is, bro. And that shirt, I like that shirt. You got me the shirt too. <laughs> this <laughs> surprise, nigga, surprise. The whole fit. You yeah. weren't supposed to know that part. Damn. I'm a I'm a play with surprise when you bring the bag and all that. Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want the shirt. He I'm just kept it to the shoes. Okay, I'm gonna right. do the Braxton. Right. He a real one though. Okay, yeah. appreciate yeah. you, Ross. One on one. We out. Yes, sir. This is the Odyssey Podcast, man.